several questions on meditation and um, one thread I think I should should pick up on here is is this connection between anything we might talk about in terms of self-transcendence, words like transcendence, words like spirituality, and the notion of kind of supernatural things. I mean, is this a, is there a, any, any kind of spookiness that we must believe in or endorse uh, in order to, to practice meditation or, or, or uh, uh, grant some legitimacy to, to uh, these claims? Uh, I think we have, to, we have to make a really clear distinction between describing the character of one's experience and making claims about the way the cosmos is. And this is, this is really where, where a lot of um, conversations about, uh, really any conversation about, about meditation and spirituality and science tends to go astray. You have someone like Deepak Chopra who is a, you know, for all intents and purposes, a, a, a pseudoscientist and a charlatan um, who makes claims about, he makes legitimate claims about the character of the experience of meditation. I mean, it's possible to feel that you're one with the universe, I mean, to lose your sense of boundary with the universe. Um, it's possible to have uh, really wonderful kind of oceanic experiences of consciousness or ex experiences that seem like just pure consciousness, where, where sense, data, fall away, and it just seems like you are consciousness prior to anything else showing up in, in, uh, uh, in terms of the character of your experience. But, but someone like Deepak then moves from those experiences to making claims about consciousness giving birth to the universe, that we are the one mind that, that in which the universe is arising. Um, metaphysical and, and even physical claims of, for which there is no warrant. And so what you, it's, uh, you have to be very slow to extrapolate from what you experience in the, in the darkness of your closed eyes to what is true of the nature of the universe. And um, so it's, people have been offered a kind of false choice between pseudoscience on the one hand of the, of the uh, Deepakian flavor, uh, and a kind of pseudo spirituality or a pseudo mysticism, because uh, it is not true. When when most scientists and even and most atheists and secularists say, "Well, we we're spiritual. We if, if spiritual means I love my kids, I love uh, I, I've experienced a beautiful sunset. I'm I'm in awe at the beauty of nature. I'm you know when Einstein says that uh, it's it's just it's a miracle that that that." The laws of nature are rationally in intelligible and they're, and they're uh, mathematically beautiful. This whole sort of uh, picture of, of awe and wonder that, that, that scientists can attest to, uh, if that's spirituality, well, then I'm spiritual too and there's really nothing left out. Uh, there is something left out. Okay, that, that is not, that whole picture, would, as, as valid as that is uh, in terms of um, uh, describing the scientific impulse and and uh, rather ordinary experiences of beauty in the world, that is not what a mystic, a real mystic or, or contemplative experiences after his tenth year in the cave doing no, nothing but meditate. I mean, that is not the, the highest possibility of human consciousness being attested to by all of the religiously confused people over the ages who have talked about being one with the universe. Um, there is another, there, there's, there's a spectrum of, of experience that we have to acknowledge that, that, that many, many millions of people have experienced um, that is a hell of a lot more uh, interesting in the end and, and transforming of the human personality than just being in awe at the beauty of nature. Uh, so atheists deny this at uh, their peril because People who have had these experiences know that it, it's not, they're not being captured by this language of, of what a beautiful sunset. Um, so my argument is that we have to avoid pseudoscience and we have to avoid pseudo-spirituality. There is a, we have to just become interested in the full spectrum of human experience and, and talk about it rationally.